Clock is ticking for residents of a condemned apartment building on the city's south side to vacate. Yeah, tenants got a notice to leave before the site is boarded up at 5 p.m. tomorrow. As WGN's Christine Flores reports, some residents now scrambling to find new housing. Good evening. The alderman admits it's a complicated situation. He says it's a mix between a slumlord and a dilapidated building, but he did say work is underway to help find new homes for the tenants. This is not security. You see how I got to the foot? Tenants of the apartment building on East 79th Street gave us a look at the conditions they say they've been dealing with for some time. It was one thing after another, but they led you to think that they was going to take care of it and they wasn't taking care of it, and it was worse than what they said. Tenants say for about a week now, they haven't had any heat, and today the water was shut off. We had space heaters. They offered space heaters um, to the residents. You can only imagine uh, what a space heater might do right in conditions like that and so the urgency to leave is because it is a dangerous matter. Alderman of the 6th Ward William Hall says they're working with the Department of Health and Human Services along with the city's housing department. We have a situation where slumlord uh, has allowed um, these conditions to affect the lives of people who should not be dealing with homelessness, unhousedness uh, and cold weather. Some tenants say they've been paying their rent, showing us receipts, and now hope. I got them all, so just take, you can look at all of them. They'll get the help they need. And give us the proper treatment have any paying tenant would get. We all deserve it. The first thing first is going to get people homes and make sure that people are not sleeping on concrete mattresses tonight. The alderman says his office has not been able to get a hold of the property owner. Now, we reached out to the property manager who works under Gray Portfolio, and she did admit that the city condemned the building but said she was too busy to talk or provide comment on the matter. Reporting in the Chatham neighborhood, Christine Flores, WGN News. Thank you, Christine.